hello everyone so in last video we have seen like how actually we can create a azure storage account so by practically we have seen like how to create a storage account and how actually we can create a container and store our file so from the theoretical perspective we are going to learn what are the thing which we should know okay so whenever we create a azure storage account okay so we generally get a four type of the storage services so let us try to understand one by one the first one is the blob storage the first one is the blob storage second one is the file storage third one is the table storage and the fourth one is the queue storage okay so based on the our requirement we are going to use this all the storage okay so suppose whenever you have a requirement okay where you have a data in a unstructured format unstructured format suppose you have a video file suppose you have a audio file txt file any kind of the docu documents and all you are getting so in that kind of the scenario we generally use the blob storage for all the kind of the unstructured data we generally use the blob storage where actually we can use any kind of the unstructured data i hope you got about the blob storage use case now let us try to understand the file storage okay so let us take a example suppose you are working in company you are one team is working in a bangalore you are another team is working in mumbai another team is working in a us location but you are working in a same project okay so you want to have some share location so that everyone can access the same file so what actually we do we will create a share location and here we will put our all the files so that everyone can access and upload and do the changes okay so in that kind of the scenario we generally use the file storage for the share location we can take a example okay i hope you got it so table storage we generally use it for the structure kind of the data so suppose you have a requirement where you want to store in a tabular for form so then we generally use the table storage okay the fourth one is the queue storage in a queue storage suppose you have a requirement okay for taking example in a paytm right in paytm where the lakhs of the transaction happening at a time okay or any google pay or any kind of the transaction system we can take so in that kind of scenario what actually we try to do we try to process the data in a queue and so we want to process every file in the queue queue way okay so in that kind of the scenario we generally use it for the queue storage okay so what actually we do we try to put every file into a queue and we try to process one by one okay so in that kind of the scenario we use a queue storage okay now let us try to understand more okay from the account type so you we, we will generally get a uh, three type of the account either you can create a blob storage either you can create a general purpose v1 account v1 and the general purpose v2 account v2 account and the, we call it as a general purpose purpose v2 account and blob we generally is for the unstructured data and uh, this is the latest version and even azure also recommend to use this because we have a multiple functionality over here okay so we will use the general purpose v2 account only okay now from the access tier perspective what actually we should know let us try to understand okay so we generally have a three type okay we have a hot tier second one is the cold tier third one is the rq okay so whenever you have a requirement where actually you want to access the data frequently okay frequently if you want to access so in that kind of the scenario we try to store our file into a hot tier okay cold tier where we have a requirement where we don't want to access data frequently okay so we will try to store our data in a cold tier rq where we have only rarely we are trying to access our data so we actually try to store our file in a rq okay so i hope you have understand about the access tier importance so frequently access if you are doing for the file you will 
try to store hot air because it's fast cold air where you are not accessing frequently we will try to store in cold air rq we are if you are accessing rarely then we generally go for the rq okay so we have understand like the we have a four type blob storage file storage table storage queue storage in blob storage all the unstructured data file storage we use for the share file share location table generally we use for the structure kind queue storage we generally use it for the messaging queues and all okay from the access tier we should know hot tier we generally use for the frequently access data gold tier we use for the not frequently rq we generally use for the rarely or backup kind of the data from the account type purpose we are getting flexibility about the blob storage general purpose v1 general purpose v2 v2 is most recommended so we generally use it v2 okay yeah that's it in this video